Tiffany and I was selected by Product Testing USA to test the Master Pan. Um, this is the box it comes in. Pretty nice box, nice pictures. It shows you what you can cook in it. You can use it on the stove top or in the oven up to 350 degrees, which is pretty cool. And uh, this is the pan. It's a really nice size. And uh, this is the back, and this is the part that fits on your burner. So um, I've used it once before cooking hamburgers and stuff inside. So um, this time I'm going to be cooking breakfast stuff. So let's see how that goes. I have the burner on. I just turned it on medium. I'm going to stick the pan on here and try to get it um, in the middle. If you have a good size stove top, this fits good. Um, I don't know how good it would fit if you had a little stove. So they suggest you cook on medium to medium high heat. And um, this you use only plastic or wooden utensils because of the non-stick you don't want to scratch it so it's on medium now and it's heating up pretty good the middle's supposed to heat up faster because that's where the meat goes and the sides of the pan should not be as hot as the middle so it's been warming up for a couple of minutes in the middle part I'm gonna put some turkey bacon and a sausage And in the circle part, I'm going to try to cook some pancakes. It has this nice ring in here, which will make perfect sized pancakes. And I'm going to cook an egg. Hold this for a second. So, nice egg. Solid skillet. It's kind of cast iron, so you can just crack your eggs right on there and uh, start the cooking process. So, as you can see, it's starting to, to cook a little bit. This is the pancake. It's starting to get a little bit of smoke, and you can see that even the outer edges are hot. The problem I faced the last time um, I cooked was. The heat wasn't distributed evenly, so um, let's see if it does different on breakfast. So it's been a couple of minutes. Uh, my first pancake didn't work out so good. Hopefully this pan will make me a better cook. But So I um, started over with another pancake. The egg is looking really good still. It's uh, ready to flip nice and uh, the meat's doing good too it's nice that these lines leave um, those nice grill marks on your your meat kind of like cooking on a grill outside so it's been a couple of minutes and uh, I'm gonna continue cooking um some egg whites on the other side so you guys can kind of see that it's a nice size part um, if you don't like sunny side eggs or um, fried eggs then you can also make eggs in the other part um, so I'm gonna let this cook and then I'll show you the cleanup so breakfast turned out really good um, I think this pan is good for cooking for one or two people um, the eggs are perfect the pancakes not so much but that's my fault <laughs> so I'm going to show you the cleanup so even with um, a little bit of egg stuck on it's um, the non-stick part is really nice because I can just um, rinse it and probably let it cool down before you start washing it's still kind of hot but um, I'm going to finish my review see even with just rinsing water on it it's almost clean so you can wash it with the soft side of your sponge and some soap. So if I knew how to cook good, uh, it would turn out a lot better. But um, I love this pan. I'll keep practicing and I keep using it. And um, I guess I'll get better with time. But I think it's a good design. And I would recommend it to my friends and family. Thank you for watching my review on the Master Pan.